meteorologist Tom Atkins, your weather authority. Well, you can tell we're getting into October as you take a look at the sunset on our Bob Ferrando Ford World camera here. And again, it's starting to creep down below the buildings even at this hour. A nice shot of Main Street, a pretty night taking place with mild temperatures across our area and no precipitation for tonight. But uh, if you consider wake up time tomorrow morning, some precip, well, there's stuff back to the north and west, and that will be coming in our direction as we go on into the wee hours of the morning. The other thing that's going to be happening is the winds will be picking up. Another nice uh, photograph here. This is the Conneautville tornado, so thanks uh, to the viewer for sending that in. And we also have the second tornado, uh, the EF-1, and this is northeastern Crawford County. This thing started near Blooming Valley, traveled east-southeastward towards Highway 79, New Richmond Road in Richmond Township. That's where it lifted. There's the stats on the EF-1, which happened about five minutes after three yesterday. So we'll continue to talk to the folks in Cleveland who send us this stuff <clears throat> for any further updates. If you're on the lake or if you're over land, the morning is the worst time of weather for tomorrow. Showers and storms will be moving through as well as gusty winds. And in the afternoon, just a chance as they move away. But on the lake, uh, in the near shore waters, 3 to 7 foot waves. South to northwest winds at 10 to 20. Our high today, way above normal at 77. Our low, also well above normal at 59. But no precipitation at Erie's airport. Above normal uh, for the year and close to normal for the month. But there's your sunset. 6.59, going before 7 o'clock. So we're down to 11 hours, 39 minutes of daylight. Weather in a nutshell here. Storms towards daybreak, diminish in the afternoon. Cool day Friday, and then a big warm-up Saturday through Wednesday. Nice night tonight. 68 at the pier from Doc Tom Miller. Uh, 72, Keith and McCain. 73, Becky and French Creek in Crawford County. Sagertown at 76. Espyville at 72. So is Ed and Janice in Westmead Township. Uh, 74 in Warren, 69 in Chandler's Valley, and 72 in Pittsfield. You combine that with dew points, which are starting to raise from the south. It will be a warm and somewhat more humid night with these southerly winds. And then you watch the maps in motion here. There's the red streamers out of the south, keeping us warm. Now watch what happens towards the daybreak here. Showers and some gusty thunderstorms move through. Now look at the colors change and the wind direction. Blue streamers, clouds breaking for sun, declining temperatures tomorrow. A cool night for tomorrow night across our area. And as we go into Wednesday, clouds, sunshine, mainly dry weather, and seasonably cool temperatures. Tonight along the lake shore, a nice evening, then the wind and the showers possible by morning. 65 to 68 could get up to some very gusty winds tomorrow morning. But south of 90, increasing clouds, mild Edinburgh, Meadville down to Greenville, your lows 62 to 66. And out east, French Creek, Scandia down to Titus. Again, starlit night, increasing clouds towards morning and lows near 60. For tomorrow, showers and gusty thunderstorms in the morning, diminishing in the afternoon. Highs in the morning in the low to mid 70s, dropping tomorrow afternoon and continuing to drop tomorrow night with starlit skies and lows mainly in the 40s, even in Erie. Friday, clouds break for sun, seasonably cool 68, a chance of some scattered storms over the weekend at times, but we're warming up. Columbus Day Monday, 80, 82 Tuesday, 80 next Wednesday. Mainly dry and very warm for this time of year weather in the seven-day. And, of course, you can look at it in more detail at yourerie.com.